Hello, my name is Seva, and let's move on with C++ Builder for Delphi developers. Episode 3. Last time, we agreed to emulate Delphi style when using C++ with C++ Builder. You may say, why? Languages are different. Why do we use the same style? Don't worry. Björn Strostrup himself permitted us to do this. He said that C++ is really big. So, take the subset of the language and use it to solve your problems. We are not following the Delphi style of coding. We are not following the C++ Builder style of coding. We are following the VCL or FireMonkey or Red Tool coding style. You won't spoil your C++ when using C++ Builder. From the previous episodes, we've got that both Delphi and C++ source codes split the logic into two parts. The part where classes are declared and the part when methods are implemented. Then we've got that in C++ we use pointers to manage created objects. An object is created by new operator and we free or destroy or delete the object using the corresponding operator. Object-oriented syntax is quite the same, it's easy to understand, but the nature of class hierarchy is different. In Delphi we explicitly or implicitly derive our new class from T object, so our new class genetically has create and free to control the life cycle of the object. In C++ a new class can have no base class at all, so we use external operators new and delete to create and free the object. But does C++ have constructors? Of course yes. How they are called? Just use new operator to create an object and the constructor will be called anyway. The same is valid for destructors. You needn't call them explicitly. In C++ we have no reserved words for constructors. It's just a method without a return type and its name is the same as the name of the class. The destructor also reflects the name of the class. It looks a bit strange in comparison with Delphi, but C++ developers are very lazy. I mean typing. Delphi code is much easier to read. In Delphi we can make class B without a constructor, even the base class A has it. In C++, if the base class has a constructor, the derived class must have it. Now we are about to understand every main code line in C++ Builder project. It's a constructor of T form 1 with empty body. Regarding this particular case, as in Delphi, Use onCreate and onDestroy events rather than constructor and destructor of the form class. In the next episode, we'll summarize C++ basics from the viewpoint of Delphi. We'll do a little demo project.